Thank you very much, uh, Paul, for that yeah. kind introduction. Uh, so I'll do a quick introduction to, uh, to CDC and what our priorities are, uh, and also talk a little bit about our view on partnerships. I think the other questions you asked in terms of lessons learnt and coordination, perhaps we can leave mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. following co um, conversation so that I don't go mm -hmm. on too long. Mm -hmm. uh, so CDC, um, we say we're the oldest development finance institution, started in 1948. Um, our mission today is to support the growth of businesses, particularly for the creation of jobs across Africa and South Asia, to uh, make a lasting difference to people's lives in some of the world's poorest places. And that's a mission that inspires us. We provide capital in all forms, uh, very flexibly to the situation. Um, we're actually able to take majority stakes or minority stakes. We can mm -hmm. follow, we're increasingly leading transactions as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we can provide capital directly or indirectly uh, through funds. CDC has a, a well-established uh, tradition for supporting private equity funds across, uh, across Africa. Africa is very important to us. It's one of our only two regions. We invest everywhere in mm -hmm. Africa, but we do have a, a preference for trying to push to some of the harder places, and mm -hmm. we can talk a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. In terms of our priorities, our priorities are really set by the impact that we want to achieve. Uh, and our impact, uh, we spent quite a lot of time, we did a strategic review last year, thinking about what was the impact that we wanted. And we really came down to two things. One, the creation of jobs, and two, trying to, do, to create jobs in places, particularly where the private sector is weak and jobs are really needed, so harder places. So now to direct capital and maximize the impact of the resources that we've got, we assess every investment that we make or every commitment that we make to a new fund across two dimensions. One, how job creating is the sector that this, this opportunity is in, and we mm -hmm. engage some um, academics and economists and consultants to give mm -hmm. us a view on what should be our priority sectors. And then secondly, how hard is the geography? And the two axes kind of intersect so that as capital goes to very hard places, mm -hmm. we get pretty sector agnostic on the basis that you know, any capital into really hard countries is developmental. Mm -hmm. But as capital flows to easier places, we become pretty sector picky. Mm -hmm. And that's led us to sector priorities, which are uh, infrastructure, financial institutions, agribusiness, which takes CDC back quite a bit to its history and heritage, uh, manufacturing, construction, uh, health and education, mm -hmm. the, the, the main priorities uh, for us. Um, let me talk a little bit about partnerships because they're so important to us. You know, when you're trying to do hard things in hard places and you have a team of, well, we're now up to nearly 100 people, but we're almost exclusively mm -hmm. in London, achieving the impact that you want from one location a long way away <laughs> means you need to work with other people, of course. And we're, we are ambitious about the impact that we want to achieve. So it's slightly different in our different business lines. In equity, we believe in Africa there aren't actually enough businesses, that mm -hmm. the economic base mm -hmm. just isn't strong enough. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we really, really want to do is do business creation. Mm -hmm. uh, but the way that we feel is best to do that is through joint ventures with proven international operators mm -hmm. who are ambitious themselves, mm -hmm. and then we can do it in, in partnership with them. Um, in the very hardest locations, and we do have uh, an aspiration and a strategy specifically targeted at the very hardest locations, mm -hmm. like, for example, North Nigeria or South Sudan, mm -hmm. uh, we have a locally adaptive strategy to try and seed and grow new businesses. And again, you know, we couldn't possibly do this by ourselves, uh, and we look for local or international corporates to work with to do that. Uh, in debt, there's a huge collaboration with other DFIs, uh, and we uh, work mostly behind the IFC and DFIs like uh, DEG and FMO. Uh, uh, this is a 
you know, a business that's very well established by them. We are very happy to, to work behind them. And then funds, which is a core part of what we do. Inherently, that's a partnership model, of course, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we are providing capital to trusted partners to execute strategies that we believe in, uh, where we feel we're very aligned over the long term with them. Uh, so I'll stop at that point, and yeah. then we can move on to... Uh, yeah, to just, just before I hand it over to, to here, Chael, I, I just want to, if you can elaborate a little bit further. I think the issue that I, I see on the ground, uh, when you look at Africa prospect, you have a lot of young people with a lot of bright ideas, but we always say access to finance, meaning access to credit, whereas what really is a problem is access to equity. To which extent are you touching to that specific uh, aspect of the agenda so that we really can have sure. impact on the job? Oh, of course. Uh, we actually consider ourselves more to be an equity house than a debt house. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are the skills that we put in place, whether it's, again, backing funds who are mm -hmm. providing equity on our behalf mm -hmm. or providing okay. equity directly. My guess is that, you know, over time, and this mm -hmm. is all work in progress, yeah. uh, we'll be probably 60, 70% equity mm -hmm. uh, and 30, 40%, uh, 30, 40% debt. Okay, excellent. One thing that you may want to add to both of your presentation is really, I mean, an illustration of what you currently do in Africa in terms of exposure, in terms of uh, maybe highlights, key highlights investment you have sure. done there. So CDC today, if you look at our portfolio, uh, about uh, just less than 50% of it is in, uh, is in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's uh, about $1.7 billion. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's all invested through funds mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, we made a big strategic decision uh, 18 months ago to expand the way that we provide capital to our markets. Mm -hmm. So in five years' time, we would expect funds to be probably more like 50%. Mm. That's not actually, that doesn't mean though that we're reducing our commitment to the African private equity market for those GPs in the, uh, in the audience who might be feeling nervous at this point. Um, at the same time, we stopped investing in China mm. and stopped in investing in Southeast Asia and Latin America. Mm. And basically the cash flow from those legacy businesses yeah. and those legacy portfolios will fund our new business lines. Yeah. We expect our commitment to the private equity industry to remain as strong in Africa as it has done over the last 10 years. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.